an old Logitech gamepad to Vice C64 emulator in Windows 10 by going to github.com slash antimicro antimicro releases. Scroll down and I'm going to download the portable version. And I'm going to download win32.msi in case the portable version doesn't work. Okay, when that's done, you can close out of Microsoft Edge. Go to the Downloads folder. Okay, we need to unzip the portable version of Antimicro. And I'm going to drag that folder down to the desktop for now. Okay, close these windows and open up the Vice Commodore 64 emulator. We need to configure the joystick there first. Okay, go to settings, then choose settings. Input Devices, Joystick, under Joystick number one, choose Keyset A. Now click the button that says Configure Keyset A. Okay, we'll click on Northwest, and I'm going to use the number pad on my keyboard. So then hit 7. Click North and hit 8. Click the Northeast button, then 9 on the keypad. Now West and number 4. For Fire, I'm going to use the 0 key. And then East, number six. Southwest, number one. South is number two. And Southeast is number three. Okay, you can click OK. And now I'll close. Then go into the Anti-Micro folder and double click antimicro.exe then you can hit the the d-pad I'm pushing left and I can see which key is highlighted so click that key and I've mapped left in the vice emulator as number four so click that then up on the D-pad is going to be number 8 on the keyboard. Right on the D-pad is number 6. Down, I have mapped to number 2. And then I'm going to use the number 1 button as the fire button on my gamepad. And that shows up as X, so click that. And we used zero, so click that. Okay, now you can save this. And then go to the emulator, and you can see down here under joysticks, I hit the left button on my gamepad, and you can see the green light. So the Commodore is seeing it. That was up, right, down, and the red button in the middle is fire. I've successfully mapped my gamepad to the Commodore 64 emulator. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.